So as you can tell by the title, the lush floodgates are about to open and we are all gonna drown in debt, that is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I found out today about Lush releasing body lotions. And I, of course, was at work and I'm like dying during break. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I gotta get home. And I have to make this video so I can let everyone else know in case you guys have not heard yet. But holy crap, I am so, so, so freaking excited to get my paws on some Lush body lotions. Before I get to the lotions though, I just want to go over a couple of things. Um, the Lush Brahed, 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 if I'm pronouncing that right, um, posted on Instagram that the Vanillary Body Spray is going to be releasing this Friday. Now, here in the U.S., we are not able to purchase body sprays in count of like the the alcohol content in them cannot ship overseas. So, um, you know, us here in the U.S. cannot enjoy those. But you guys over in the U.K. can, you know, enjoy your vanillary body spray. I am freaking jealous of you um yeah p.o box is in the the description box no i'm kidding <laughs> um but anyway i just wanted to inform you guys so if you do live in the U uk you will be able to purchase the vanillary body spray this friday there is also the lush lushoween all of the halloween goodies saturday september 15th is when they're going to be launched now i'm not sure if that's north america or uk but bank on that being uk online uh so if you're looking to buy halloween goodies um and you're in the u.s check out the lush uk site that day um Saturday, September 15th for Halloween goodies. Now, if you have seen my Lush Leaks video of the Halloween and the Christmas um, leaks, the, the Halloween leaks are pretty dang accurate. So if you did not see that video, I will link it so you can check it out. Then, then, not long after, September 23rd is when the Christmas stuff is supposed to be launching. And again, that's probably the Lush UK site. So definitely keep an eye out on that day for Christmas stuff on the UK, Lush UK site. And then September 28th is when it should be releasing in stores. Again, this is all UK. It seems like the US um, tends to fall a little bit behind. Um, we don't get things as quickly as um, they do over in the UK. So if you are really, you know, you cannot wait until the Halloween and the Christmas stuff comes to your local shops in the US, then purchasing on the UK site is gonna be your best bet. And it's pretty much your best bet anyway because you're getting stuff a little bit cheaper as well. I also wanted to address the fact that I still did not receive my Lush Labs uh, package. Um, the latest Lush Labs, the atmospheres and the shower bombs and all of that good stuff. I'm getting a little concerned. It has been a while and I know lots of other people have already gotten their packages. Um, so yeah, I, I'm getting scared. I'm getting a little worried. I'm, if, if it's not here by the end of the week, I'm probably going to have to email them because I'm thinking it might have gotten either lost in the mail or possibly destroyed somehow. And then just, you know, they couldn't read the shipping address or something on my package. So that's why you have not seen me do a haul video or any kind of demos of the, the latest Lush Labs releases because I never got my package. And what really gets me is the fact that when we ordered, when we ordered the Kiwanis, 
Koyanaskatsi shower bomb. Apparently, they weren't quite ready to ship or something. I don't know. They were having like issues and they sent an email saying, um, as soon as, you know, we have these ready to ship, you'll, you'll get them, but it would be separate from your package. Well, I got that Kawanya blah, blah, blah shower bomb and I have still not received like my atmospheres and all of my original, uh, package. So, I, like I said, I'm getting I'm getting nervous about that, but as soon as I receive it, if I do, I'll do my haul and we'll start doing some demos of those products. Now, as far as the 10, 10 Lush Body Lotions, holy shit. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. Huh, 10, 10 body lotions. Okay, I plan on buying all 10 of the Lush body lotions. So can we please say a prayer for my bank account because it is going to have to rest in peace because I need all 10 of the Lush body lotions. Oh my gosh. There is not a release date yet for them, but they are coming. We know that they are coming. It is. It, they're coming. So I'm just gonna go over all 10 of the, the body lotions, letting you guys know which ones are coming. It seems, and I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. So the first one is Yognog. I, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for like all of these, but holy crap, some of them, I'm just, I'm dying here. So Yognog. If you're not familiar with the scent, I'll just go over some scent description real quick. Yognog is like, think, think eggnog, think like a caramelly toffee, just <clears throat> yummy goodness. I absolutely love it if you're familiar with the Yognog soap, that's, that's what it's gonna smell like. And yes, I want to rub that all over. Um, the, <laughs> the second one, this one was a little, little weird. It's called Noni, I wash the kids. It's gonna be vegan um, because they're omitting the honey. Uh, so they're using noni fruit, I guess, instead. Now, <laughs> I looked up what does noni fruit smell like? Because I'm all like, so does noni fruit smell like honey? Like, is this still gonna smell like honey? I wash the kids or is it gonna smell like noni fruit? Where is my phone? I Googled, let me, find my Googleage here because I, I got it. You guys, I, I don't know. I'm a little concerned. So it says it smells like extra sharp cheddar cheese. I, I don't know. Like I, I'm assuming Lush is going to do some magic with that one because I'm a little concerned by it. Mm -hmm. Overripe stinky cheese is what it said when I Googled what does noni fruit smell like? Overripe stinky cheese? Okay, we'll see. Gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I hope it smells like honey and not cheese. That's all I'm saying. All right, three, we got avocado no wash. Oh yeah. This one is probably going to be the most popular because ever since we got that avocado um, avocado wash shower gel, I, I think everyone's just love for that scent has skyrocketed. It's definitely up there, I think, personally, as people's favorite. Like, I think, I think avocado wash could like outsell Twilight at this point or sleepy at this point. I really do. Um, and that smells, I, I say it smells like lemon or yeah, lemon. Oh, Michelle. I think it smells like lime Skittles, like a sweet candy lime Skittle is how I would describe it. And it smells so freaking fantastic. Now, just a side note, a little off topic. I tried a piece. Last time I was in a Lush shop, I asked for a sample of the avocado 
co-wash the solid shampoo and it just isn't for my hair type it's not it's just a little too heavy I have really fine hair and it was a very heavy kind of feeling um just it didn't make my hair feel clean at all uh which I think is what like a co-wash really is uh however it didn't work for my hair but I was using that piece of solid shampoo as soap and oh my god it just smells so good so yes it is just the best uh number four is calacus which again is just a very like people love the calacus scent um that one is also a lime there's lemon in that one too and it's just amaze balls i absolutely absolutely love calacus so does my boyfriend so we'll probably be fighting over that one uh yuzu and coco Oh, I am so happy to see that scent back. Oh my gosh. It has always been up there as one of my faves. And I don't know why they discontinued it. Um, It's like a chocolatey orange. I think it smells um, coconutty as well. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful smell. Lord of Misrule. Again, I think Lord of Misrule is another one of those scents that's just super duper 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 popular. Um, it's a patchouli, vanilla, black pepper. It's got that spicy, earthy sweetness. Just, oh my god, I love it. Again, that's probably one my boyfriend and I are going to fight over. Um, Butterball. I am dying. Oh my god. So, uh, Butterball is just that sweet just light lightly sweet vanilla cocoa buttery smell just absolutely amazing yummy mummy there's one we haven't seen in a while and i'm oh my gosh i just i can't get over i can't get over this you guys 10 10 of these in all the, the, the best scents ever it's a sweet fruity a um, little bit of strawberry kind of smell. It's definitely, definitely a good one. Uh, Sultana, which we did just see in the last um, shower gel release. That's like a fruity, sweet, nougaty kind of scent. Um, maybe not my absolute favorite, but I do still really like it. And I definitely want it in a lotion form. And then also American Cream. So that is 10 lush body lotions now it seems like the the kitchen here lately because these body lotions are going to be coming from the kitchen and our last kitchen release was all of those shower gels and now we're getting all of these body lotions and it just makes me wonder if like the next time lush kitchen like does like a release kind of thing it makes me wonder if it's going to be another like big release because it seems like they're just kind of like going like crazy like hey you wanted shower gels we're giving you shower gels you want lotion here's your lotion so makes me wonder what you know the next one could be that will just be like bombarded with a, a ton of product which is awesome but also you know heavy on the bank account so you'll have to let me know down in the comments what your plans are for just everything. Halloween, Christmas, but specifically the body lotions. What are your plans for them? Do you, which ones do you plan on buying? Which ones are you excited for? Um, do you plan on buying them all? Um, is there any that, or maybe you just, you don't want any of them because maybe you don't really like Maybe you don't really just use body lotion. Um, I do have a Once Upon a Time body lotion that smells like the So White fragrance, and I absolutely love it. If you've never used a Lush body lotion before, at least the the um, Once Upon a Time body lotion, it lasts, the scent lasts on my skin pretty well, like the whole day when I wear it. And it's just, it's wonderful. I think the lotions are just very, very fragrant and feel good as well. So I definitely need all of these. So like I said, you'll have to let me know um, which ones you plan on buying. Um, how broke are you going to be? <laughs> because <laughs> between Halloween, um, Christmas, and these big lush kitchen releases, I'm gonna have to start working some overtime at work to pay for all of this stuff. But it's like, I have to have it because if you don't, then the stuff sells out, you can't get it. 
if you want it, you gotta buy it for like 10 times the price on the internet. So you might as well get it while it's at its original price and not inflated insanely. So um, I do plan, like I said, on buying them, them all, all of them. Give them to me. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, I have a problem, but you know that such is the life of of a lover of lush So anyway, I just wanted to sit down and make this video like I said when I was at work. I just started like Flipping out, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I gotta get home. I gotta get home. I need to record this video I need to let everyone know what's happening because I know some of you guys definitely, you know, come to my channel to see and hear any kind of like, you know, news releases as far as Lush goes. So I wanted to be able to inform everyone of it just in case you haven't heard yet. So anyway, let me know down in the comments how broke are you gonna be after all of this goodness. And I'm in the same boat. So don't think you're alone. We'll go down together. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.